Hello, possums. Drama Smith here. We're still in the ice spikes biome because, as you may remember, the update ate my portal. And I thought, well, we could moan about it and be upset and say it's in the wrong place now because it's just over there. Or we can take this as an opportunity because I was never very happy with where I'd placed it in the first place, which was just down there. And the updates also sheared off the side of this hill. So let's make the most of what it's done. I'm going to shift the portal. I'm going to put it here. We're going to build something around it. But in order to do that, the last little bit of this hill has to go. There's actually not... Whoops. Oh, well, that was good, wasn't it? There's actually not that much of it. See, it's just a few blocks deep, really, when you think about it. So... I'm going to dig all this away and then we'll talk again. And it's gone. I ended up taking out a lot more than I had meant to because it turned out most of back here, most of what was just this side of the grass, was hollow. Um, I filled in bits where it goes down to other caverns and over there and it's gone. So... We're going to build a new portal. I've got a natural amphitheatre here, which I'm going to sort of integrate. Um, we're going to build a portal and we're basically going to stick it in a big box, <laughs> which I know sounds awful. So I suppose the first thing we need to do is the portal itself. Um, I'm going to build a platform for it. So we're building it out of ice. Now it goes there, this goes here. And I think that's what I want to do. Okay, let's go break the portal downstairs. Let's hope we've left ourselves with a means of getting back home. And we'll stick that portal there. We'll move it. Um, it's basically going to end up between where it is and where it was. So it shouldn't be... Oh, that always makes me nervous. It shouldn't be too much of a problem with it reconnecting in the nether. We'll find out. Uh, I just want to say I am sorry that today's episode is late. There was nothing I could do about it. Things have been pretty hectic since my son got sick and oh, we're still going through getting tests done and getting a point, going to appointments and things like that and I've just had to slow down the schedule a little for recording. I'm trying to keep to it but it's a little haphazard at the moment and oh, mini videos. <laughs> I can't even think of anything for them at the moment. It's just all uh, inside of waiting rooms and doctor surgeries and then here recording and doing housework and cleaning and cooking and no brain. So let's build this. Uh, oh, tell me I've brought everything with me. Yes. Oh, I opened it and promptly shut it again. Well done me. I'm going to make it slightly larger portal because I want it based on an odd number not an even there we go oh and two left over ow yep okay uh, quartz slabs make some stairs going up Stairs coming down. That's nice. And before we light it, uh, we need need to put that away. Pop some dirt at the back, and we're going to put. You won't see this bit at the back. We're going to put a purple concrete powder just to make it super purple. 
Blech. I did try this with purple concrete and it was too smooth but the concrete powder see it's got a nice texture and that shows up under the portal um, I hope I've brought flint and steel with me I said this is the back it's gonna be covered don't worry here we go one flint and steel And oh, do we dare go in? Check it's connected correctly. Uh, yeah, all right. If it isn't, I'll come straight back through anyway, and we'll fix that another time. Yay! We're at the right station and everything. This one really needs work. Okay, back out we go. And we come out on the right side. Oh, that's brilliant. Love it. Okay. Now we know that works. Let's get to work on some other things. We need some snow. We need some quartz stairs. And I'll just pop the flint and steel away. Hang on. Uh, here. So I'm making a pillar of snow. I've got to think what I'm doing, sorry. Is that what I want? That's what I want. And snow across. Upside down stair, right way up stair, and snow, and bedtime. Ow. Yeah, I like that. Okay, now this portal is a wee bit on the expensive side. Blue ice, I mean, <laughs> I collected the first seven or eight blocks of this and thought what is wrong with me choosing this <laughs> I mean talk about ridiculous it is so expensive but it looks really nice for our purposes there we go see I'll show you around the front See? Isn't that pretty? Anyway, I think so. So, one, two, three. And that's this, and this is this. So I'm going to do a wall 11 blocks long out of blue ice, and 11 blocks tall. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, and I'm going to go up eleven. And I'm going to do the same. Oh, on the other side. This stuff is so slippery. Two, three, four. I'll see you in a minute. All right, there we are. Two big walls, eleven by eleven, blue ice all personally harvested and made oh my goodness the ice spikes that were on top of the bit of the mountain that was left were very useful but there weren't many so one ice farm harvesting from rivers and letting them freeze over again oh tedium okay enough of my complaining what we are going to do now is make a pattern on this in quartz so it's gonna 
sorry, this is going to take a little bit. No. Oh. Yeah, well done. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I actually broke it. Right. I'm only using Molly. Eek. <laughs> well, there's 81 blocks of ice gone. Fortunately, I have some spares, but, yeah, I can't afford too many of those. Eep. Right. Molly only for this. Right. We'll do it that way. Come on, Mol. There we go. And uh, she can go there and there. All right. It's a little bit of an involved pattern, but I quite like the effect in the end. Uh, we're going to need some steps up, I think. So we'll put a right way up there and an upside down there. And it's going to look like a bit of a jumble. But um, we'll get there with it. Two slabs, two slabs. And then can I? No, I can't. No. All right, it seems such a good idea in creative and then you try it in survival and it's like, oh, no, really, I should have done something else. Let's see if we can do it this way, which we can. Okay, so that works. We've got to take a bit out. Um, which bit did we take out? That one, wasn't it? So we take a bit out, put it in. And put it back in. All right. I now somehow have to repeat that up the top. And, oh, nearly forgot. And I think we'll do the same thing here. One there. That one's easy. Take that out. That one's easy. And one there. Okay, so somehow I have to repeat that up there, and then I've got to repeat it over there. As I said, it seemed like such a good idea at the time. And lo and behold, I have a shovel with me. And that one. All right, let's have a look. Oh, yes, right. That would be right, wouldn't it? <laughs> Get all the way down and realise that those are missing. There we are. Okay. <laughs> well, much convolution, but there we are. That's a pattern. Uh, yep, so I'll do that on this side. And we'll get on to the next bit. So it's not terribly exciting, is it? It's just a big box. Albeit a decorated one, but a box nevertheless. There we go. Uh, this is the front. So now I want to take that out and um, I want to make a pillar with right way upstairs and I just turn at 90 degrees each time I place one. And do I have snow on me? Yes, I do. Because that one goes there, get on top here and we'll top this off 
with snow. And yeah, I do I do need to light this, I know that. Alright, let's see if I can do this clever bucket trick I've seen a lot of people do. Oh nope, can't. <laughs> there, see, it just makes I don't know, I just like it. It sort of snakes up. So the first one is facing outwards. Yeah, and then in. So, and we'll just turn and place and turn and place. There's lots of things you can do, lots of patterns you can make just by changing how you um, set different blocks. There we go. All right. Let's see again if we can fail. Yeah, we can. No problem. <laughs> I've got end rods to go up there. I'll just have to get them out. So what I have to do now is dig out the floor. Because the floor's not going to stay like this. We're not going to have something this pretty and then have the floor like this. And by the way, I don't know what to do about these back walls yet. Probably plain ice. Uh, we'll see. Anyway, I'll get digging and I'll get back to you. I dug it out to a depth of five and I lined all the walls with snow. So we need to get in there and we need to line all the floor with packed ice. And I can hear a spider somewhere, but I cannot find it. There are so many caves under this place, it's not funny. Okay, okay, that's the packed ice done. Now I'm going to make a pattern with end rods. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <gasps> uh, I'm going to shift this wall back. And then we'll make a pattern with end rods. Okay. Oh, I wish I'd counted that before I started. That's annoying. That's my own fault. Uh, do I shift it back one or do I just... Nine, ten, eleven. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. It would be there. It would be there. One, two, three, four. No, I'm going to have to shift it back one because that will just annoy me something chronic. Okay, I'll shift it. We'll be back. I almost fixed. We've got a block missing there, but... I'll do that later because I'd rather keep these two for blocking up this. Now hopefully this time one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, that's it. Okay, I am going to make a pattern with end rods on top of the pack dice. I'm not quite sure what the pattern's going to be yet. I'm just popping rods down as I see fit and when I'm satisfied we'll do something else with them. Alright, let's pop up the top, have a look, uh, try and pop up the top, have a look, see what we think. Uh, and round again we go. That's far more sensible. Um, I think that's okay. Yeah, it'll do. There we go. All right. Glass next. And we need light blue glass. 
Ah, slippy, slippy. Which goes as a layer on top of where the end rods are. Ah, and I got stuck in the corner. It's my fault. Right, now we block this up. And uh, some dirt should do. There we go. And last but not least, a layer of white glass. This will be easy. Oh, and we don't have to slip and slide. And doing that doesn't help. And I can't wait to get Optifine back and get connected textures. This will look so much nicer with connected textures. Alright, one there. And one there. And in the middle. And there we are. That is the start of our portal room. We've definitely got a portal back. It's closer to our bed. I'm going to put a little room behind where our bed will be. But I don't think for a nice spikes that's a bad start for a portal. It will not stay boxy. But, you know, I think it's off to a cracking start. So next time we'll come back and I think we'll put a back wall and a roof on this and do the little room for the bed and we'll have a secure portal. I'll gradually work out what to do for the rest of the building because this is the start of a building. But, you know, at least we no longer have a portal in a cave. This is good. So if you've liked this, you know what to do. Whack that like button. Subscribe if you haven't hit the notification bell. I'd love to have you along. And I'll see you next time. Bye!